Okay, whenever you're ready. Hi, my name is Jonathan Munro. Um, I'm from Cordova Leathers. Um, we're here at Leather from Heart in Cordova. The site that we're on now, um, so back in the day it was uh, called Sutherland's Tannery and uh, it was established in 1878. Um, that was the old building. Um, and during that time, uh, we also supplied some leather to the Allied forces in World War II. Um, and we actually had a, um, a typed letter from one of the generals in the, in the Allied forces that thanked the tannery um, you know, for their generous help in supplying the leather to the armed forces. Um, unfortunately, we, we lost all the memorabilia uh, last year, August, when we had a catastrophic fire that um, burnt uh, the old tannery. Um, and uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite a, sad, quite a sad story. Um, okay. Uh, so with the fire that happened um, on the veg side, um, it took us some time to to move over onto the new site, which was uh, built in the late 80s, um, 1980s, and um, yeah, so so we managed to get the the veg side uh, up and running again um, without too much delay. And um, they are currently processing at the moment and, uh, and doing well. Uh, so we get both in, green hearts and salted hearts. These are the salted hearts. It's a semi-preservation method that's used um, for what we call curing. And then from here, it then gets loaded into our soaking paddle, where we rehydrate the skin, and um, it then goes for fleshing. This is our lime yard. Um, these were the vessels that I was talking about earlier. It looks like Noah's Ark. Um, so these are our paddles and we do our liming here. So our liming consists of uh, soaking, unhairing and then the liming process which generally takes around 23 to 24 hours uh, for us to remove the hair, get the swelling that we need um, and then the following day the hides then drop out of the uh, paddles into the pit and then from there uh, it gets attached to a thema conveyor and then up to our lime fleshing machine as well. The lime hides that I was talking about earlier. Uh, so all the hair has been taken off. We've got the excessive swelling. You can see how plump they are. And now we've prepared it to go into tanning. And during tanning, 
Our first phase is our deliming, and I'll explain that just now to you. has been split, okay, and it's been split to about 2.2 to 2.4 millimeters. Basically, when you when you feed the leather into it, it, it vibrates. It has like pins underneath that vibrate, and it makes the, the leather softer. Um, so, if, we, if we're wanting to make the leather a bit softer, if it's too firm, then we put it through this machine, and then it softens it, mellows the leather out. Are we adding? color, feel, um, the physical properties to the leather as well, so it's got to pass certain rub tests and things like that. So we add products like top coats, we add pigments, we add dyes um, to color the leather. Um, we also add binders, um, feel agents and things like that. A huge thank you to Jonathan, Cordova Leathers and Leather From Heart for the tour of your magnificent tannery. We have placed all their links below should you wish to learn more or get in contact with them. Enjoy the Jim Green journey ahead and we'll see you all in the next episode.